Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we have a little Ripple X via news and we'll see what my rigs did over the weekend. See you in a bit. All right, guys, real quick, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So to be notified when that video comes out, you're going to have to hit that notification bell and subscribe, all right? So let's see what uh, XV is and whether it helped the price of Ripple. All right. Ripple's XVIA used by MoneyMatch to conduct cross-border transactions from Malaysia. Uh, the prospect of cro concept of cross-border transactions has been given a huge boost by the Money with MoneyMatch, a fintech startup announcing that they have conducted their first ever cross-border transaction out of Malaysia using Ripple's product XVIA. Uh, CEO of Money Match stated, we're really proud to make this announcement today as we show clear evidence that a fintech startup made wholly in Malaysia by young Malaysians is capable of integrating into the Ripple blockchain and performing a live, legitimate international money transfer from Malaysia to Europe, bringing blockchain innovation to the traditional Malaysian financial services industry. I'm just going to scroll down a bit. I'll have links to this in the description if you want to read the full article. Uh, in a press release on August 28th, Placio CEO Dima Okrimchuk, I guess that's how you say it, briefly explained the mission of the company. He stated, Placio aims to be take the best features from both crypto and fiat financial systems. Our smart banking ecosystem is set to increase confidence in crypto as an asset and drive its global adoption. Ripple's rapid entry into the banking industry has also been quite apparent with the news of cryptocurrencies company's partner, Banco Santander, partnering with Swift to go live in countries such as Spain, the United Kingdom, Poland, Poland and Argentina. The announcement read, with Swift GPI, Santander can now offer a rapid cross-border payment service with real-time payments tracking and transparency on bank fees and foreign exchange rates. Uh, I did a video on a, a YouTuber, um, To the Lifeboats, who talks all about Ripple and the Swift, and he thinks that Ripple is going to be taking over Swift in the end. So that video should be popping up if you want to check that out as well. Um, so the price of Ripple, it's gone up a little bit, but I think that it's not really anything news related. It's just the market went up. So it's up 4.5%. Everything kind of went up, and now it looks like it's trailing back down just a little bit, sitting at 43 cents. So um, I haven't bought any more Ripple. Still got a decent amount I'm holding on to. So hopefully it goes up. Hopefully it was a good investment in the future. All right. So rig status, 646 Stellite mine and 0.911 Ethereum Classic mine. I got both rigs running uh, Ethereum Classic right now kind of looking around for a coin to uh, do some more speculative mining so I'll let you know if I find one uh, with the little bump in the market the uh, total value mine went up to 758.90 so I'm sitting at about 36 dollars over last week's total value mine so not bad um, I don't think I will hit last week's total 23.28 I doubt I'm gonna hit that I may get to about $18, $19 at the rate it's going, especially if the uh, prices go back down, which they may. I think we did break through um, that downward trend. It was a long downward trend of lower highs. So we'll see if that lasts. I don't know, but time will tell, I guess. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video again. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. If you guys, got any questions or comments, put them down below as well. I'll be sure to get back to you. And with that, you guys have yourself a nice day. Bye.